Welcome back to Smart Spade Information Technology Block. And we are continuing to show you guys how you can use command line or terminal window instead of graphical user interface. And in today's lesson, part 3, Latex for the Beginners, I'm going to show you guys how you can manage your files by using a wildcard. If you're interested, stay with me and I'm going to show you how. Okay guys, if you pay attention to the previous tutorials in the previous part, now we have to know how to create your folders, files, how to move files back and forth from one folder to different one folder, and how to locate where you are currently located in the file directory, and um, how to use uh, list command, how to use cat command, how to use make, uh, make the R command, how to move files, all of this has been covered in the previous part. So, if you missed that part, go to the previous tutorials and check them out. And now we're gonna show you guys how to manage a wildcard, how to manage your file. So, let's go to check first where we are. By pwd command, you can see that we are in the pi folder. And I showed this command previously. And by ls command, we can see what is left inside of in the pi folder so just a standard file this file is not exist anymore it just remains as kind of exists but it's not there if you want to check if this file exists just go to list or you can just by typing in cd space computer devices and it's not there because the file is not exist anymore I have deleted this file from the previous tutorial. So um, let let's let's create a folder. Uh, we're gonna create two folders and two files in the two separate folders. And after that, we're gonna manage these files and folders. So um, the first one for uh, the first one folder we're gonna call, uh, for instance, uh, Carly's or let's let's call it Carly's. So NK DIR and we're gonna create this uh, folder inside of the Pi folder. If you want, you can create a different folder. You can create one folder as a main one, and inside of this folder, you can create the secondary folder, which you can call it My Card or whatever you want to call it as an example. So I'm gonna call it My Cards, or I'm gonna call yeah, I'm gonna call it a car list. Uh, which is going to be inside of the Pi folder. So let's create this mkidir space and uh, car list. And as you can see, that I'm starting from the capital letter. So for me, just easier to see and don't make any spelling mistake. Just just the way I prefer to do it. And we got mkidir. So by list you should see that I have created Carlos folder. Whenever you see the, like I told you before, whenever you see the, um, the blue one colored uh, name, it means that the folder. Whenever you see the white one, it means that that's the files that you have created. But in my case, that still remains. I don't know why, to be honest, with, but it still remains. I have deleted file, I guess, like I showed before, guys, it it's not exist, but it still remains. Uh, okay, so, I have created Carly's folder, and now I'm gonna create a um, uh, computer uh, computer device folder. Like just computer uh, computer. Let's call it computer device again. Uh, M K D I R space computer devices. And by checking this, we can see that the computer device folder appears and Carly's appears. So inside of these two folders, I would like to create two txt files with the list of, for instance, in the card car list, I'm gonna put the one by one card names and the computer device, I'm gonna put one by one as a list. Uh, I'm gonna put um, like peripherals equipment such as uh, keyboard, mouse, um, speakers, whatever, anything, just fill this 
uh, fields.txt file, so that's not going to be empty. So let's create the first um, in the car list. We do how we create a txt file by typing command nano space. And if we want to create inside of some folders file, but you are not currently at that folder, you should map to that folder. And by mapping to that folder, we should type, uh, for instance, car a list. Let's check the spelling. And after that, forward slash and the name of the file that you want to be inside of this car list folder. So I would like to name it as the uh, new, for instance, new cars, new cars, right? New cars dot, dot txt. Ba, 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 ba. Mm -hmm. And now we have created the new txt file, which is inside of the car list folder. And I'm just gonna copy and paste the um, the name of the cars, for instance, that we had currently buy it. Just we just bought it these cars, and I would like to show you the list, the current car that we just currently bought it. And if you'd like to save it, just hold the control and press O, and it's gonna ask you rename it but if you'd like to, um, to keep the same name just keep it the same and by clicking enter it's gonna be saved as the new cards and to get out from this file just control X and now we see that we just see car list but what if you want to check what is inside of the car list uh, we just type command ls car list and a new car. Uh, to be honest, let's just do it like that. And we're gonna see the text file. So we see the file create and let's check it what is inside of the new currently created a TXT file, which is new cars. Uh, I just get inside of the car list as you can see that and I would like to see what is inside of the new cars the txt file that we currently created and as you can see guys that we have a list that we have created inside of this txt file which is new cars now we have to create our second files inside the computer device folder so let's get out of this folder checking where we are which is right now inside of the pi folder and uh, now we want to create inside the computer device folder a new txt file like i told you before a new file is going to be calling for instance um, um new devices computer devices and the txt file is going to be called a new device inside of this computer device folder so uh, let's go um, create a nano space uh, computer uh, sorry, computer uh, devices for the slash and the name of that file which is going to be a new uh, devices right let's check the spelling nano space computer devices forward slash new capital new starting from new devices and dot txt and now we have redirected to the inside of this uh, txt file and I'm gonna copy paste again uh, the list of uh, accessories that uh, I'm sorry, just double it. Just double it. Um, mouse scanner, whatever. Uh, tablet. So now we have tablet, mouse, and keyboard. I'm gonna do it as well. Yeah, just like that. And I'll by Control O and Control X. 
and control X, we just uh, we just left. So now I would like to go inside uh, inside of the uh, computer device folder. I'll go to inside computer um, and device folder. I'm just there, and now I'm gonna check if it's created and what is inside of this file. Cat space new uh, new uh, devices, right? That txt, and now we have see the list that we have just currently created inside of this txt file. And now, what if uh, what if I wanna create a couple more files, just random files, doesn't matter if something's gonna be inside of this file, but I'm just gonna be put some random files inside of the computer files, the uh, computer device folder, and inside of the computer, uh, inside of the carless folder, just, just any. So let's go back and check it. Here we are, we're in the pie folder, and I would like to create a couple more files just um, just inside of the computer device. Computer uh, devices uh, from a slash and TXT file going to be random uh, random no, we're going to call let's call it for instance test1 txt for instance and just uh, some text um, goes here uh, just as a sample and we're gonna save it and now we gonna create one more uh, computer uh, devices devices uh, for, uh, let's call it test two for test two that txt and we gonna add and one more text goes here right blah 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 whatever and uh, save it and now we should see uh, now we should check um, for instance check what is inside of this folder and now we see that we have new devices that we have specifically created for this folder and some random text right and uh, the wildcards technique it's just technique that you can manage your directory by specifying correct name just for this particular text file for instance if i want to manage a uh, txt files to make them appear in the txt folder so that I'm not gonna mix them up with a new device folder, right? So we can create a new directory uh, for this particular txt files. Create first the txt folder specifically for this txt file. So let's create the directory, I mean like folder uh, for uh, for this txt file. So in mkdir space uh, test folder right and if you're gonna check list we have to have three folders which is computer devices folder uh, car list folder and test folder but what if you don't wanna like I told you before guys if you don't wanna these txt files where they are um, if you don't want these txt files appears um, inside of the computer device and folder, you have to manage them by moving command M M V one by one. So what if you don't want to spend your time just moving one file by one, one file by one? So in that case, we can use a wildcard technique, which is gonna save your time and easily manage multiple times at the same time. I just provided as a sample two files, but you can you imagine what if you have more than 10 and even over files 
and you have to move them one by one if you're using command line. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can use a wildcard technique. First, we need to get inside of the computer device folder because those two txt file inside of this folder, I mean directory. Or you can call it directory folder because technically it's directory on a tech word. So let's go to computer device folder. So now we can check that we inside and we see this 2txt file that we don't want to be no longer here. So now we have to move them to this uh, task folder. So how are we going to do this by one command? So first we need to tap it in move command as normal because we, whenever you move files, you just type it in move, right? So now we need to spell the name of the file or files that you would like to move. So first, it's going to be uh, task, sorry, test, and after task, you're not gonna put one, two, or whatever extension. So you have to specify the exact spelling name and after that, just put the star, which uh, means that after that txt file. So whenever it's matched to test file, and uh, what is going to be after test file is going to be moved to to next specified folder or directory that you wish to be its most right. So after that, we need to go up. I mean like backward, you can't stop. And inside of test folder. Test folder. So let's check the spelling. Move test star dot txt space double dot because we're going backward and we just up go up to the file folder and after we go so you have to specify which folder you want to move these two txt files so this two txt file should go to test folder test folder whenever you click enter those two files has to be moved have to be moved to to those uh to those uh, test folders so how we go to check it now we can go check list test uh, folder and now we should see those two files appears right over here what if you just find out that you want to move back some files that you randomly or by wrong copying over to or i mean like move over um to the test files like i for instance I, in my case i have a two test to test to, to test two txt files in your case could be more like i said more than more than 10 hundreds and thousand files what if you just randomly copy wrong files and you want to move them back so in that case you can do like that so let's first go to our um uh to our txt uh, test folder file test folder file and we can check that we are in test folder and if you see that we are uh, let me just clear this so it's not going in there so we are in the test folder right now and i would like to check what is inside so we see that there's two c files and i would like to read off them and put them back inside the computer device folder so how can i do that back by one command yeah, but that command could be a bit different from the previous one that I showed you. So here, how you can do this. By typing command move, like I told you before. Sorry, move, space. But instead of test start.txt, you can, you like, in case if you want to specify which files you want to move back, you have to type the name that is exact match the next one files like uh, test like for instance test files test one test two test three is gonna match just test work so you can type test sorry.txt but what if I want to move in my case I want to move these two text two files back 
and I want to and I don't want to just type it in tasks.txt files or well, what if for instance we're gonna have them hundreds like test files in my case too but what, what if I have hundreds I'm just gonna type uh, move space dot start and dot txt and you have to specify to where you want to move this file so I want to move them back to computer device folder where they came from but from this folder you have to go up I mean go backward to the pi folder in my case and up and, and down to computer device folder so how we can do this so dot dot forward slash and you have to specify the folder that you wish to move this 2txt file so like I said with before the folder is going to be in my case is computer device folder the same folder that these two files came from so I click in enter you should see um, so we should check the files if they are disappeared from here so whenever you type the list command you should not see any result if you repeat by my steps like I did so if you want to check what is inside of the computer device folder so let's go back to uh, I'm sorry let's go let's go back inside of the computer device folder and check what is inside of the computer device folder so let us see the computer uh, device folder and see what is inside so as you can see guys that we have reverted back all these two files to the same exact location where they came from. So that's how you can use the wildcards technique in case if you have hundreds, thousand or whatever files. So you can save your time and manage files accurately in the proper way. It's pretty much it guys for this part of the tutorial and I hope you guys understand how manage your files quickly and easily by using wildcard command so you don't just stack with any numbers of thousand files and you don't know how to manage them now you know how to manage them and hopefully i help you guys in some way and please don't forget to subscribe to your channel or hit likes and i'll see you guys in the next part